Welcome again to Hampton Lake Homestead. In this video, I want to talk about another pest problem that I've just found, but this time it's not in the squash family, but in the corn. So stay tuned. So by and large, my corn this year has done extremely well and I've had very few, if any, problems. However, as I was walking along here yesterday, this first plant right at the edge of this bed, I saw that I had an aphid problem. And as you can see, there are also ants crawling along here. And ants and aphids tend to go hand in hand. These are not fire ants, these are sugar ants. And Aphids secrete a substrate that is a sugary type substance that these ants feed on. And so what the ants do is actually farm these aphids. They will try to support and benefit the aphids so that they will get this sugary substrate and use it. Many people are aware that ladybugs will actually feed on aphids, but as long as you've got ants around, they will actually keep the ladybugs at bay in order to support the aphids. So when you tackle a problem like this, you want to tackle it from two angles. One, you want to deal with the ants, which the ants are actually fairly easy to deal with. And I'm going to show two things that I do to combat them. What are, for me, far more difficult to treat are the aphids. I did recently watch a video that Gary Polarchik did where he discussed some methods that he uses and I'm going to try that today. Now, again, I wanna be clear that I have no experience with this and I'm actually trying it for the first time to see how it works. But according to Mr. Polarchik, this has worked well for him in the past. So I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna begin by talking about what I'm gonna use for the aphids. And what I'll be doing is mixing up a spray, beginning with peppermint oil. I actually bought this from the Rusted Garden, which is Gary Polarchik's channel. And what he recommends is mixing one teaspoon of this per gallon of water. And again, this is peppermint oil. The other thing that I'm going to be using is just a regular detergent. You can also use Castile soap. And so I'm going to be mixing one teaspoon of this also per gallon of water. Now, one of the initial treatments that you can do to help with the aphids is to use a forceful water stream to knock them off. And so before putting on the spray, I'm just gonna spray this plant forcefully to try to knock off as many aphids as I can. And so now just taking this mixture of the soap and peppermint spray, I'm just gonna spray these leaves down very thoroughly, top and bottom, to all of the area that's been affected. And what Gary Polarchik recommends is doing this for a total of three times every three days. Okay, so I now wanna show what I'm gonna do about the sugar ants, one of the best home concoction poisons that I've ever used for this is a combination of boron, which I use the 20 mule team borax for that, with sugar. It's very simple to make. You just mix one part borax to four or five parts sugar. I typically do four parts. So for example, you could put in one tablespoon of borax and four tablespoons of sugar. Put that in a bowl and just mix it in so that it's uh, mixed thoroughly. And then what you want to do is put some of that in powder form into a container and then another part of it you want to mix with liquid and with water specifically until it dissolves and by putting them in these firm containers like this it keeps pets from getting into them but what you want to do is drill a hole in the side high enough to where the liquid and the powder will stay down in the bottom <clears throat> but where ants can crawl into it and get to the poison. So I have holes drilled in each of these. This one is the liquid. And so what happens is, is the worker ants will crawl in and drink the liquid and will 
die immediately, but then you will also get some that get some of the powder and take it back to the queen so that the entire nest is killed. And you'll wanna put these near the ant's nest. Uh, today, I'm actually gonna be putting it at the base of the corn plant uh, in hopes that enough of it will be taken in that it will kill all, if not most of the colony that are affecting the aphids on my corn plants. But the main use of this is to put it right next to a nest. All right, so now, in addition to using the mixture of borax and sugar, I'm also gonna be using some regular Vaseline, which you just apply to the base of the plants, which makes a sticky surface, which makes it difficult for the ants to climb up and down the plant. Okay, so I've got them set down right at the base. I'm already seeing ants crawling on this, so it shouldn't be long before they find the holes in the side and get into the poison. And now for the Vaseline, I'm already seeing ants crawling up and down this stalk. So I'm just gonna take some of this Vaseline and put it all the way around, apply it liberally, and this should create a barrier to keep the ants from going up and down. Doing a follow-up now on the aphids. This is now three days since I did the initial treatment. While there's still signs of the aphids, it's not nearly as bad as it was. I'm also still seeing some of the ants that I was seeing before, although they are not as bad. I do still have the Vaseline in place, although we've been getting a lot of heavy rain over the past several weeks, and especially, especially over the last three days. So I need to reapply some. All right, just spraying the plant down with the combination of peppermint oil and detergent again. I'm also seeing some signs in a few other places around the garden. So I'm gonna go around and spray a few other stalks as well. One easy way to look for aphids is to just look for ants as you walk along your rows. Seeing a few ants on this plant. And when you look way up at the top, I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but I'm seeing just a few signs of aphid right up near the tassel and actually out onto the tassel. So here's one I need to spray as well. I'm not finding that many that are affected, but enough that I want to get on it before it spreads to any adjacent plants. All right, I found maybe five other stalks in the beds that needed spraying. Did want to point out that just simply hitting these ants with this mixture of soap and peppermint oil does pretty much instantly kill them. And I've reapplied some um, petroleum jelly along this and a few other of these. I am seeing more and more ladybugs out here too, which is good to see. Uh, the uh, peppermint spray doesn't seem to bother them, which is good. So I'm going to keep at it. Just came out to check on my corn stalk that was so heavily infested with the aphids and the ants. For the most part, I don't see any active aphids and only a handful of ants. I am still seeing ladybugs. And there's just a little bit of this residual material that they leave with the exudates. I've washed most of it off though. And so for the most part, I'm calling this corn plant cured. If I see any more activity, I'll continue to spray, but I think that it's going to be able to produce corn now. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Mm -hmm.